with NBA 2K24 releasing in about what two months, I decided, you know what, since I'm such a huge YouTuber with a huge ass following and a huge, huge, huge fan base, you know, and huge influence in the 2K community, huh? I wanted to give you guys my 2K24 wish list. Let's get, let's jump straight into it, bro. Let's jump, let's jump straight into it. Number one, this is a bit of a controversial opinion, and but it is my opinion. Matchmaking in the park is a must. You remember when 2K22 had matchmaking? That single-handedly carried the game for the first two months for me. Otherwise, after that, it was dead. First two months, I was just playing matchmaking because I don't have a full squad. I just play with one other person. We used to hop into matchmaking and we used to play it like all the time. We used to try to join in at the same time and just play. And I, I thought the matchmaking was a wonderful idea. Albeit it was broken and it was not fixed at all and it was kind of an afterthought, but it was a great addition to the game. And uh, it's sad to see that they scrapped it. I thought it was a great addition. I really enjoyed matchmaking. And I know you guys have this Pro Am 3v3 matchmaking, but if you just want to play casual without a squad, and you just want to matchmake like how COD does it in all those types of games. Uh, I think NBA, especially with the new crossplay, I think NBA 2K24 should really, really aim to improve and focus on matchmaking instead of just waiting in the park. I reckon a lot of people will be more inclined to play, especially people with no squads. And who knows, you could meet and play with a lot of new friends. Matchmaking is definitely a must for me. I doubt they'll put it in, but you know, I just wanted to say my thoughts. My career has to be more straightforward, man. When I hopped on NBA 2K23, I was greeted with 50,000 cutscenes and 50,000 quests and a missus who I didn't agree to and, and just a whole bunch of storylines and quests, but I'm not playing some RPG. People come on to play NBA 2K, they want to come on just after a long day of hard work or school. They want to come on, come on NBA 2K and just fucking just play hoops with their mates, but I don't want to go through 50,000 quests just to play my one my career game. That's, that was really annoying by NBA 2K23 and I really hated that man. I just wanted to keep it the old simple days where you just load up a game and you in my career straight away. The amount of quests I had to do really turned me off from playing like my career at all and really kind of killed the vibe for my career for me because I'm, I'm a huge my career player. I, I play it, I'll be, I think I'm sometimes even more than my park. Because uh, bro, I, sometimes I enjoy my career a lot more than my park. Many challenges that are useful in my career, is what I'm trying to say. Like challenges that earn you actual stuff that you need to earn. VC. And my team and my points my career points we, when you earned any type of endorsement deal it actually gave you passive income with vc and i don't think nba 2k20 correct me if i'm wrong i don't think nba 2k23 done that and i don't understand why they didn't do that i thought it was such a great idea and it made vc less tolerable but i guess to be honest it makes them makes you want to buy more vc I don't know if you guys are getting me out. There was really this, this passive income thing they used to get and collect your check from your agent. And I think they took that off because, you know, they want to make more VC. But like many challenges, they make the VC more like easy to obtain. You know what I mean? Watch that three by Steph Curry, baby. And it's literally that simple for me, honestly. Like make, make VC more easy is what I'm saying. More easily obtainable. To be honest, this might be a controversial opinion. Make badges simple again. NBA 2K20 formula for badges was the best formula. Keep it that way. Keep it simple. Honestly, a lot of things looking back at NBA 2K20 was one of one of the greatest 2Ks of all time. And I think they should implement more in that instead of trying to do too much. Here's another thing with NBA 2, with 2K that they need to stop doing is trying to go so big. Don't go so big. You, you do, you're trying to do too much. Do what works, all right? Keep it simple. Do what works. And trust me, you have an amazing game on your hands. Make the city smaller and make it server-based. Actual parks instead of um, a whole ass city, you know what I mean? And if you really want to do a city, like if you're that desperate and really want to do a city, oh shit, bro, I'm gonna lose. Let's go! Just keep it like like the 2K20 neighborhood where it was just a, a little city, a neighborhood in the beginning, in the middle, a little city, not, not big 2K, not big. Make it small. Make it minimalistic. That's the word, minimalistic. Keep it small. Keep all your shops around there, and then you can have you can branch off into one, two, three, four into River City, Rough Riders, and all that shit. You can have the one, two, three, four on the corners, your parks. You can keep them there, and that's it. Keep it small, keep it simple. Don't make it. Don't make it such a chore to go around the city. Don't make it so dead. It's it's the smaller you make it, the small the more you feel alive. In my opinion, you doesn't have to be a big. You gotta remember that NBA is an NBA. Two K is an NBA game. It's not a RPG in the city living GTA game. We got GTA 5 and GTA 6 coming up. So we don't need to 
Or we didn't need to have that kind of RPG elements in the NBA 2K game. I just want to go and play basketball. It's that simple. All right, it's that simple. Hopefully you guys are saying what I'm, what I'm trying to say here. Another thing I'll suggest is you can even make the uh, parks smaller. But instead of having four different types of parks, just, just have two. I mean, it worked, it worked well with uh, 2K20 and the earlier 2K. Just, just have one small... Basically, I'm trying to say is keep it minimalistic. That's it. And the last thing I want to say, my final thoughts, is speed up the gameplay. This year's gameplay felt a bit slow. Dribbling and all that. Just maybe speed it up. Basically, what I'm trying to say at the end of the day, make it like NBA 2K20. <laughs> That's basically... <laughs> Make it like NBA 2K20, make it simple, make it minimalistic, and you have a bang on your hands. But we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, that's been my wish list of NBA 2K24. If you guys agree, let me know. If you guys disagree, let me know. And let me know what other things you'd want to see 2K do because I would love to hear you guys' opinions. And that's about it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.